all right guys so welcome back to another video in the previous video we did some work on this thing and i put an edelbrock on there and the thing was still not firing right so i recorded a whole another video right before this one but i don't think i'm going to publish it because it's basically just wasting time and all that i tuned it as best i could i bottomed out all the fuel adjustment screws to where no fuel would be able to get in the carburetor and the truck was still running too rich and that is crazy that that shouldn't be happening what I did was I slapped the quadrajet back on there just to see what would happen. And it's doing the same thing with that on there too. So something tells me that it's something other than just the carburetor. Like it could be the spark plugs. So I did end up checking the spark plugs or at least a few of them. I pulled this one out right here and it, it was really carboned out. It had a lot of carbon buildup on it, but it wasn't wet or anything. But when I pulled this one out, it was soaking wet. So I think the center two cylinders on both banks are getting too much fuel while the outer two are not getting enough or something. I don't think the center two cylinders are firing. I think it's just the outer ones. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get new spark plugs and we're gonna replace them all and then we're gonna see what happens. I might still try it with the quadrajet. All right, so we have all eight spark plugs set at 0.45. So let's install these and see if that makes a difference. All right, so all new eight spark plugs are in the engine now. Of course, we're gonna have to jump start it because I killed the battery again. So after we hook the jumper cables up, we're gonna try starting it again. That is awesome, guys. This truck is running very good now. With the quarter junk on there. The, honestly, guys, these carburetors are not that hard to work on if you understand them. I've taken this thing apart so many times that I have a pretty good understanding of how these things work now. We're gonna have to do a test drive with this and make sure it performs flawlessly before I do that though. Because if this quadrajet fails me at any point in time, it's coming off of there and I'm never ever putting it back on again. All right, so a few hours later, I think I made a decision. We're gonna go back to the Edelbrock. Why is this? Because as much as I like the Quadrajet, and I don't know if I'll be able to easily figure out why all that gas is spewing out over the top. I think it could be just because the float is incorrect, but you know what? We bought the Edelbrock. We might as well get our money's worth out of it. All right, back to the Edelbrock again. Let's see what happens. That's running really good. Uh-oh. Major fuel leak, major fuel leak. And we got another line in place. All right, guys, that is awesome. We got the thing running flawlessly now. Now it is smoking a little bit, but that's burnt oil. I think that's just from the other cylinders inside there. They got so washed out and everything. But now, the engine can run flawlessly again. Yes! So we need to take it out on a good drive. All right, so it's the next day, and this thing is running really, really good. We actually already took it on a test drive yesterday, but I didn't record any because I'm kind of busy and I'm a little excited too. So one thing I did notice about it was... I heard a hissing sound and it got louder as I accelerated and I figured out it was just this hose right here. It was not connected. That issue is fixed. But whenever you floor it, you hear this loud roaring sound. I mean, it sounds like the engine has no muffler on it except it's coming from the intake. I, I think it sounds pretty good, but I don't know if it's normal for this thing. So anyways, let's take it on the road and get this thing tuned up. You gotta get it warmed up enough. That's why we're gonna take it on the road. Starts right up. We're good. Let's do this. What in the world was that? Got the great throttle response. Whoa. Now that was full throttle there. All right, so the tune is perfect on it now. The throttle response is very good. As soon as you press on the gas, it gets up and goes. That is great. 
So now the last few things that we need to do are get the choke hooked up because as you can see, uh, it's not closing. That's because this rod right there is not connected to it. And that's because the clip, one of those microscopic looking clips, I lost that for the choke cable or the choke linkage. And now it's just running with no choke. And that's not a problem when it's warm, but it makes it really difficult to start. I mean, I had a time trying to get this thing started this morning. After we fix that, we need to get an air filter and then put a filter on here. After that, this thing will be ready to go. Oh, and we need to cut this fuel line too because we don't need to keep it like that. That's kind of a risk for leaking. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. If you're stopping by for the first time and you wish to follow the channel, please subscribe and ring the bell, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.